metta for our collaborators, our collaborators, past, present, and future, our co-creators, people with whom, or beings with whom we have collaborated in the past, uh, personal projects, um, work projects, um, volunteer work, because none of us is an island. And the work that we dedicate ourselves to, whatever it might be, it's always a collaboration, a co-creation of some kind, of some kind. Sometimes it's more apparent, more easily noted that it's supported by the work of others. Sometimes it's it's a brainstorm and working together, creating. So, so there are one reason why it's, it's helpful, it's, it's important um, perhaps to practice with in this way, you know, with, with let's, let's say with practice of metta, uh, kindness, goodwill, we do this practice in concentric circles, as you know, right? We start with ourselves and go to benefactors and friends, neutral beings, um, and then to those we have difficulty with and all beings. And when we get to the all beings category, all beings, one way that traditionally all beings practice is taught because if you just think of all beings in a way, the mind kind of goes a little numb, like all beings is kind of hard to imagine all beings. We divide it into lots of different categories, different, you know, categories of beings that are like this or beings that are like that. So just so that the mind can kind of grasp, oh yeah, these beings, oh yeah, yeah, then these beings, so that there's a sense of relatability, right? So one way to think of this practice as I'm introducing tonight for us to consider people we've collaborated with or collab will collaborate with or just collaborators as a category is both as a way to think of it, oh yes, as this unique category we usually don't think about of all beings so that we can kind of grok it, connect with this category. And also it's a category that's kind of spread perhaps over some of the other categories, right? Amongst the collaborators could be people that um, are our benefactors, our work, our, our what we contribute to the world really depends on their work, depends on their goodness, on their gifts to us. Some of them might be dear friends. So the category of dear friends, like, oh yeah, we really like these collaborators. They're just good friends. Some of them might be in the category of neutral. Like we don't quite know them yet. Maybe we'll just, we're thrown into a project to work together in the past or present or future. Some of them might be in the category of, um, guess what? Those we have challenges with. That wonderful category of people who are our best teachers and really uh, seeing the areas of, um, um, of entanglement in our heart, where our heart has entanglement. So, so this category there's a, has a lot going for it has a lot going for it, this collaborators category. So I'm just bringing this to life. And again, right now may not, you know, may, you may not be working, you might be retired, but I trust you've had collaborators in your past. The past, again, either work or family groups, maybe you've hosted a party together, or, you know, a reunion and you've had collaborators. So um, just people you have co-created with so that you're not alone. You're not an island. We're not an island. And also in this way, humility comes in. We, we don't do things on our own. So many causes and conditions and people um, support us and we support them to co-create what is, what is here in this world. So it also brings up a sense of humility. It's not just all me, 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 we come together. <laughs> 